tuning in make sure you hit that like button and that you subscribe and that you hit that bell so you know when we have um other videos pop up now if oh my god <laughs> It's Phillips thing. This is cooking with Jess. I'm your girl Jess. Um, if it's your first time, make sure you hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever we post new videos. If you're returning, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be making spinach and shrimp manicotti. Hope I'm saying that right. Not too sure, but it's okay. It's all good. First time making it, we're gonna see how this go. If you're ready, let's get into it. We're gonna go ahead, cut up the shrimp and the vegetables. Let go. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ingredients below. So of course we wanna make sure we get our onion and our peppers chopped up. You don't have to cut yours up as small as I did. I like mine to be a little small, you know. Tomato, tomato, your choice. Let's go and get it cut up. So now we're gonna put that to the side and we're gonna go ahead and get the shrimp out. I peeled, washed, cleaned this shrimp, okay? Wanna make sure it's clean. Don't want no surprises in there. Go ahead and get it chopped up to your choice of size. Then we're gonna put it in a bowl and we're gonna go ahead and get our seasonings together. Let's get it. I'm gonna show you the seasonings here. <laughs> these seasonings of course you can take out or add in whatever you would like I would recommend still keeping the oregano and the garlic seasoning if you even have some Italian seasoning you can do that as well um, as you saw I used some Tony's Shat <laughs> Um, that was not part of the original recipe uh, just like the recipe I found did not include spinach I added that on my own so you can you know, find a recipe and make it whatever you like to make it. We got that all seasoned and stirred up well. Now we're gonna take our mini cotti noodles and we're gonna go ahead and put it in the water so we can get those boiling and ready to go. So while the noodles are cooking, we want to go ahead and get our veggies cooked as well. Yes, I'm using butter. Use whatever you would like. If you want to use butter, use it. If you don't want to use the butter, you can use um, olive oil as well. I've done that before also. Then I'm going to also add some spinach. I'll add that a little later because you know it doesn't take spinach long at all. So um, while we are cooking our vegetables, we want to go ahead and definitely make sure we add some seasoning as well it's going to be some of the same seasoning that we added to the shrimp 
spinach look at that mix it up real good get all them seasonings mixed up together vegetables to the side add some more butter to the pan yes using that same pan because it still has some seasonings in there as well take our shrimp that we chopped up earlier put it in the skillet and boom let's get it cooking y'all you know that shrimp don't take long at all so let's make sure that we go ahead and keep stirring it so we'll go ahead and cook all the way through look at it it's already turning pink look at it look at it look at it <laughs> Took that shrimp out, yes, once again, using the same skillet, cause again, why? Got those seasonings on there. So this time I didn't make my own sauce. I decided to go ahead and use jar sauce. Nothing wrong with that. But because I did that, I'm just gonna add a little bit more seasoning to it. Just a little bit. Cause sometimes the seasonings don't be doing what it need to do. Okay, if you know, then you know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that done. Stir it up real good. bit more we need to add to our mixture so i took the shrimp that i cooked and i took the vegetables put them in a bowl mix it up together add some ricotta cheese that was mozzarella cheese as well so ricotta cheese shredded mozzarella cheese uh shredded parmesan and romano cheese and we're gonna stir it up stir 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 stir, stir. okay sorry but get that stirred up real well what i also decided to do is i took some of the sauce that you saw um, not too long ago took just a little bit put it in there mix it up again and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to fill our noodles yes I said try because the first time was not very successful I'm sorry the first two times was not successful don't y'all judge me okay <laughs> tried to make my own little bag so I could use it to fill up my noodles it did not go very well I think what happened was is that I cut my little opening too big so when I tried to fill my noodle with it um, it just went everywhere it was too much that came out all at once I tried to do it again um, off camera just to see if I could get it and I could not so I decided I'm just gonna take it spoon it out and put it into my noodle Okay, you gotta improvise. 
if you can't get something done right the first time, come up with a different way to get it done because it still got to get cooked. So that's what I did. I used a spoon, filled up my noodle. As you can see there, it did the job. It did good. And then we got it all filled up there. Add the rest of the sauce on top of the noodles. And you're going to take some more of the previous shredded cheeses, the shredded mozzarella, the shredded parmesan and romano cheeses and spread it on top you don't have to use those cheeses i would recommend at least using the mozzarella cheese and then adding some other form of cheese if you would like but i like to use these cheeses you know they are very good mixed together they mix very well it's ready to go in the oven 300 degrees for 35 minutes and ta-da Thank y'all again for watching. Until next time, bye.